hi y'all how y'all going welcome back to my channel it's your girl Lee and I'm back with another video if you're new here and you haven't subscribed as yet do so now well today's video I'm gonna be taking this hair down taking the braids out actually I did it myself over a month ago a little over a month ago and today I am taking this down usual routine when I take this out I'm gonna let it I'm not gonna wash it immediately I'm going to wash it tomorrow um, I need to get my croissant infused hair oil I already have my hair moisturizer or the hair therapy and and some other oil that I'm going to put together I also have my rice water sitting in the fridge so I want to do a deep conditioned as well and since my hair I didn't wash my hair for quite some time whenever I have braids in for this long what I usually do is either give it a wash and if I'm not able to wash it I will take a cloth make some missioner and I will clean the scalp do I keep my hair neat and tidy is that I have edge control that I would usually use and I will keep twisting twisting the edges or around uh, the perimeter of my head I'll twist the hair and so that it will be very neat I actually wore I didn't wear much style when I put in this braid I actually always had my hair in a bun <laughs> I'm sweating am I <laughs> taking this out I'm thinking about something that I may want it that uh, trending topic sensitive as well and it's in relation to sex offenders. Yeah, sex offenders. I I had a status up as on my WhatsApp in signing a petition for for bail not to be granted to sex offenders. And this one person replied, they will only sign this petition. I'm just paraphrasing. They will only sign this petition only if the maximum penalty is one year in terms of the no bail penalty is one year so i was like so i replied that i think all sex offenders should not be granted bail and they were like so we are presuming the person is guilty before due process now everyone has their own take on this by the way guys, I got a new ring light today and I'm actually using it and I think it's working really well. I love it. So that's just off topic. So back to the sex offender. And everyone has their take on it. Everybody feels differently. For those who have, who have been directly hit, would say something to those who have not been hit at all, who this has not affected, they will have something else to say what can they actually be thinking when they prowl on little children children that are not able to defend themselves uh, think about the visually impaired and hearing and those who are challenged verbally someone actually violate violate someone in such manner and it doesn't only have to do with children but adults and then some of us like to say old oh, ladies should not dress a certain way but when men or when boys are being attacked is it that they're dressed a certain way that encourage the act against them all right so i believe that violating a child in such a manner it definitely the person definitely needs to be put away definitely uh, he should not be allowed to be on bail so that he can commit the act on someone else, you know. And that's just basically how I feel. You don't have to agree with me. That's just my personal feeling. And think about the psychological damage and impact it will have on the victim. Hmm? It is only until this hits home then people know how bad how this offender should be put away, right? To care for our children, we need to protect them. 
and we also ought to listen to them. I actually didn't do a length check before I braid my hair, but I think I have some growth. <laughs> hey, what are your thoughts? How do you feel about this whole situation? I mean, you know, recently in Trinidad, there's been an upsurge in missing female, and when they and when they're found, they're found naked, and the results also tell you that they've been sexually violated back a young lady entered a car and never returned home never showed her home or to her destination and then where she was found in a ditch naked how can people do this hmm? tell me how can you call yourself a human being and you're doing this to our young ladies and young men and then the rest of you want us to have pity on someone like this? On someone who commit such heinous act? Tell me. Of this is that it's not braided right down it's twisted so it's easy time I undo that I get to the root and I'm able to take the braids out this is one thing I hate about braiding hair is they taken down for here this small because of the stress first of all of getting it done and undoing it I don't know how people could do this all the time. But I'm so over it. I just want to be done. I just have how much do I have? This much? Hmm. I'm tired. abuse I've been following this new drama with major hype and Kirby you know she's been saying that she's been abused for a very long time and she finally got out of the relationship actually when it got really bad but at the end of the day it was never too late kudos to you girl for in that step you know big relationships like those end up in where one party's been dead and the other in jail. Ashen major hype. Now I would understand. We got out there. There was so many support coming in, pouring in for her, all the love and so on. But what I wanted to know is that if she knew he was this abusive, why you never shared with your family? Again, I'm not condoning. Hold up, don't come for me. I'm not condoning what major hype did based on everything that has been circulated on, on social media. All I need to recognize abuse in its very early stage and get out because most of us will not be lucky like Kirby. You understand? I saw some pictures where she shared with both of her eyes, lot shot in her eyes. I'm not gonna wait in no relationship to see those results. There will be signs at the beginning but then again, I also know that it's not that easy for women to get out of abusive relationship. You know, especially too if they're very dependent on the person that is abusing them. To learn to be more open with their friends, with family. And if they're having issues in terms of physical abuse from their partner, they need to share it. There is help, but are we utilizing those avenues? Yes, we have the police, friends. There must be a way to escape. News. We read the newspaper. It's always a woman being killed or being abused by her partner. 
you don't hear of such of men being abused right yes i know there are men being abused there's we know we know they're they're doing the thing um people to value themselves when you value yourself and you know your worth you would not be allowing people to bow up on you hit up on you you have to love this body yeah love this body and love it right hmm? don't let no woman or no man hit up on this beautiful body this beautiful creatures you are beautiful you are worth it you are a queen you are a king treat yourself like such recognize those red flags and get out seek help when you are in a way to work or in or being killed in front of our children you know how traumatic that is for a child see this parent brutally murdered in front of him must live with that for as long as they can that would be it's time to tough up be strong be determined and love yourself right to this and let's help our fellow men and women listen to them they may be talking and crying out for help but if you can shut up for a minute and listen you don't understand as you need help you should go and get help or when someone tells you something you don't have to go and say call the person name and say this person told me this right or in taking down the braids i am going to pause this video i'm going to continue taking out the braids and then I will meet you when I'm done. All right. And guys, so this is what I did after I took down all the braids. I put my hair in two, two, what you call it, two plaques. And I'm about to hit the road to get some items, all right? So remember to get your satin headscarf or a bonnet. That will keep your hair really neat. It will not it's going to damage your hair your hair is going to rub against the cotton and it's going to break so that's basically guys this is the hairstyle that i'm going out here with you know usually you would not find me walking like this but i have no other choice it's sunday morning and it's actually the culture for people not to be all dressy when going to the market anyway so i got the ors hair repair this i got myself the coconut oil and so do the hair routine on camera for those of you who want to know caption wash there you can go and look at check that video out and i'm already prepped for work so i'm gonna take these down and i'll show you how i'm going to style i don't have any idea of what i'm going to do i'm just going to go with the flow
simple as it gets with my makeup application it wasn't a tutorial this is just what I do to you know make myself feel comfortable when I get out there as you saw I would have been my face to sweat and I don't know if that is supposed to happen but so you saw me taking primer actually so I don't know what to expect and this is as simple I'm all done, I'm all set and ready for the work day. I feel pumped and energized. So I wish you a very good day if you're watching it day or night. I wish you a very good time of the day. And until then, stay safe until my next video. Bye.